And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Iceborne Sand Soldiers to start off our Meme Tier Monday. We're going to have four very cool viewer submitted donation decks for Meme Tier Monday today. They're just going to be a lot of fun. That's what it's about on Monday. Not necessarily playing the, the best, most competitive decks, but playing decks that are really fun and kind of built around different themes. This one is going to be a crazy one where we're going to try to have Sand Soldiers and uh, combine those sand soldiers with Iceborne Legacy. So Iceborne Legacy, of course, is grant an ally and all allied copies of it everywhere, plus two, plus two. So our, our goal is to try to get a sand soldier in play and get this plus two, plus two, so that our sand soldiers will be three threes whenever we have them and they're attacking and everything. I don't know if it'll work. Hopefully we can pull it off once. Um, but that's gonna be the goal. The easiest way to pull it off is with Doomkeeper. Because Doomkeeper just costs one mana and summons a Sand Soldier. So we can have Doomkeeper, so like for six mana, we can have Doomkeeper plus Iceborne Legacy. So we can do that as early as turn three. Um, we can also wait a little bit and we have an Elixir of Iron and some Troll Chants in here that can also kind of help save the Sand Soldiers from removal like Vile Feast whenever we're targeting it with uh, the Iceborne Legacy. Also have a Ride Negation for some protection as well. As far as our top end goes, we're going to have Inspiring Marshall in here because we know how good that is with Sand Soldiers. Um, we are also going to have, um, you know, Sejuani is going to be our other champion to go along with the Zero, just a good solid champion. And then a couple of They Who Endures at the top end because if we are having a bunch of Sand Soldiers die, we'll have a couple of They Who Endures that could be pretty big. Also one Emperor's Divide, a card I've never played before, but this would summon six Sand Soldiers that, you know, they could all be like three threes and stuff. So it could basically be a mini... Um, a mini harrowing kind of uh, for seven mana um, also given the enemies vulnerable so that's that's pretty cool too uh, besides that so like we're going to be kind of uh, we're going to be controlling the board a little bit with ice shard avalanche blighter ravine as we wait and set up our time now whenever we do if we are able to go the iceborne legacy on the sand soldiers the other cool card that we have here is arise and that can be like burst speed three threes that could be some surprise blockers or you know just open attack you know, like maybe they don't have a board, but we don't have a board either. And it goes to our attack turn, you know, late in the game. We have like 12 mana. It's turn nine. We have our three spell mana and our nine regular mana. And then boom, suddenly four three threes out of nowhere are attacking them. So that's the goal of our deck. Iceborne Sand Soldiers. We'll go ahead and go play five games in normal with it being a meme tier day. We got our Azir for our Sand Soldier deck. All right, we're playing against some Soraka Shivana. That's a pretty cool little combination. Don't see that too often. Hey, what's up, Project Arm? Welcome to the stream. I think we're just mulligan everything. Avalanche doesn't seem like it's doing enough damage against big health champions like Shivana and Soraka. We're just mulligan everything. Uh. All right, we'll play it. Tough call. Maybe I'm supposed to save it, but it's we have the attack token turn one, and then we got sentry. Clad in shining sunlight. Nothing escapes my watch. Burn away doubt. Oh, there's our Iceborne Legacy. And I already used my Doomkeeper. That's... Yeah. That's not the best block. If you're going to block one of the two ones, you block the other one. Because now they're, they're just giving me an additional card. Yeah, we're doing good towards the Sejuani level up. We're at two out of five already. Three turns in. Not bad, we'll take that. Could already summon six hand soldiers. I am more than I seem. I don't know, I could Iceborne Legacy the Doom Keeper. <laughs> Devotion through battle. Kinda don't have anything to do this turn or next turn. I kinda have nothing to do. Unfortunately, I can't block Shivana and then Avalanche and kill Shivana. 
I don't know. I could elixir of iron and, and block the priestess. Ugh. <laughs> it's not, nothing's very good value. But I guess I just waste all my mana. Damn. Okay, this is pretty rough. I guess this is... <laughs> this is pretty rough. Maybe we need some things, like, in the mid-game. Not all these seven mana cards. It just felt like... Felt like an odd case scenario of us, us just having, you know, three... Six and seven mana cards, and then two Iceborne Legacies, and you know we just didn't have any cards that did anything. That's kind of weird. Yeah, and it turned out we should have saved Doomkeeper for sure. Yep, that that was the main thing. I, I should have saved the Doomkeeper. These jewels are more than the games don't always work out. But yeah, I should have saved Doomkeeper. Yep, I'll remember that for the future games. Just save the Doom Keeper. I don't think I like this They Who Endure. Because as we've seen, we, we've had three things die. Like this... I'm not sure I like that card. Every step, a new journey. We can probably find something better in these regions. Maybe some more sand crafters or oh. if they're out there, I'll spot them. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Be at peace. I've got meat bigger than you. Alright, cool. Live. Means they won't be able to get... <clears throat> they won't be able to interact with this. Alright, so we got one Iceborne Legacy on the Sand Soldier. Yeah, that's my plan right now is to do yesterday's decks tomorrow. Attack. I understand. Yeah, unfortunately we just spent turn three, four, five. And really six with Three, four, five, we didn't do anything, and then turn, you know, turn six, all we did was the Kylie Tavern Keeper. And so, that's, you know, you're, you're not going to win very many games with that. Um. For life. Might have done something turn three, I don't know, what, what was turn three? The possibilities are infinite. I know, so. turn four, we didn't do anything, turn five, we didn't do anything, turn six, we just played a Tavern Keeper. A little too far behind at that point. I need you earlier, Inspiring Marshal. Oh, 
All right, Owen one. So we need to save the Doomkeeper. Another Soraka deck. This time, Soraka Tomcatch. Yeah, Endure could definitely be a one or a zero of. It doesn't have, doesn't need to be a two of. So that's gone. Let's look for a Sand Soldier to go along with our Iceborne Legacy. Hmm. We could probably get rid of Emperor's Divide as well. The desert by my side. Yeah, they don't. The good part about like their deck is they don't really play removal. So like I don't, I don't I don't really have to worry about them responding with a removal spell. So obviously they can like guiding touch pale cascade that kind of stuff with the crusty codger. Um, but I would prefer them to use that on the crusty codger instead of something else. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't know why they don't just block the dune keeper, and then I have nothing. They take they take two more damage, but I don't have anything in play anymore. Do not see what is. See what will be. My diet is expensively unique. Another nibble. Hmm. Stand down. I think they have astral protection. It's the only way that makes sense. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. But yeah, I, I, I think that we can find better things to do than they who endure. <laughs> you know, like this has been like kind of an ideal start, and it's turn six, and we have had we've had two things die for they who endure. This this card does not need to be in this deck. All their stuff's burst speed, unfortunately. Come on in. Azir welcomes all his subjects. Yeah, it's a good point. I probably should have just attacked with Azir last round. I'll be happy to accommodate Pablo. We look after our own. They've already played two Guiding Touch. I I like killing my two one anyway and um, freeing up the space because my my plan is this emperor's divide next round because then they'll be you know I want five five threes. Where there's a will, there's a meal. This is pretty sweet. This emperor's divide right here. Oh no! So rude. Alright, just three threes. Yeah, without that hush, <laughs> that that was gonna be a lot here. You know, like that was another three damage. Hush was quite nice. Appetizers of plenty. A proper my allyship, demon to star child. Oh, Tom, there may be redemption for you yet. Alright, well I was talking bad about they who endure, but after 
that seven mana card. Now it's looking pretty good. They, of course, can have another Astral Protection. Which they do, because that's the best card they could have. The possibilities are infinite. Well, we're in a lot of trouble now. That was the best card they could have. Stars fall. Take heart. Live with purpose. You seek an audience? Yeah, it's true. They could just hush. They who. Yeah, it's true. Hush. Hush. Yeah, that's true. They who endure is super weak to hush. Which is a very common card for them to have and to play. So I play Azir, they eat Azir. I play Desert Wrath first, they eat Inspiring Marshal. But then if I go Desert Wrath first, we're not getting any bonuses from Azir, but then again, we wouldn't get the bonuses from Azir anyway. If they eat it. Yeah, I need one more mana for all, all of this. That thing, they only have Vulnerable for that round? I mean, I guess I could Ice Shard and just kill my four ones, and then Tom Kench doesn't level up. I don't know if that's even worth it. You had your chance to walk away. Come along! There's room for everyone. Yeah, no. That's it. I'm not getting these things back anyway. They may have more like box to push or one health you know, like one health thing there that I can I shard away. Yeah, I mean, like, look at all the health on this thing. I can't kill this thing anyway. I need time for commune, Tom. This you know. These old eyes still see far and clear. Get bloody, get paid. Remember this day. It is time. Ooh, got some fighting ya. This is outrage. How delectable. You are Everything's enemies. lethal. Another nibble. I understand. Oh, uh, they're gonna hush. Because then it's a one-one. It doesn't do the extra damage. It doesn't have Nexus Strike. Deal extra damage. So they're still at two. <laughs> I need them to be at one at least. These elixir of irons. Why can't you be something useful? I think we need. I think we need just some more sand soldier cards in here. Honestly, I think like that's really like we could just use some more like mid game threats and stuff. We have too many spells. Just we saw that last game as well. My plan is Ravine kill them. 
right? Like, that's my plan right now. It's a big responsibility to shepherd stars. Yeah, they've played at least two Guiding Touch so far. So now they have to worry about protecting Tom Kench and their and their Nexus. Well, they got now it's a good card to protect Tom Kench. Maybe not their Nexus. Maybe not the Nexus. Why did Ravine burn? Okay, we're one and one. Okay, here after the second game, we're going to switch up our deck just a little bit because we've seen that uh, we kind of have too many spells. We need a few more threats in the mid game and everything like that. We're putting in the third Desert's Wrath in here, so we have another slow speed way to put Sand Soldiers into play for Iceborne Legacy. We're also putting two Sand Crafters in here, just something to kind of do in the mid game that, of course, it can it can attack and get us more Sand Soldiers that if we use the Iceborne Legacy, they'll be the, the three threes and everything like that. So we'll get those two in here. And we're also going to get another Emperor's Divide. That card's looked pretty good with our first two games. We're going to get another one of those. We're getting rid of one day who endure. We're only going to play one now. But, of course, with playing more of these cards, more of these Sand Soldier cards, that will make our one day who endure better. Um, we are also getting rid of the Elixir of Irons. They are there to protect the Sand Soldier whenever we do try to Iceborne Legacy. So maybe we'll miss them. Um, but that, that's a pretty narrow uh, thing that the Elixir of Irons are really doing. And then just trimming, we have so many AoE cards, we had eight of them, just trimming that down to seven and getting rid of an Ice Shard. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a try. Let's see how this does uh, with the new list for our, our last three games. Okay, so they're also a Shreema deck. They're going to be trying to restore the Sun Disk. My plan is to wait with the Dune Keeper, especially, especially how we do not have the attack token on the first turn. We'll just wait on it. Um, that one spell mana is important because now I can play Sentry on two. I could play Desert's Wrath on three if we want. Now, so I could, I could go Desert's Wrath on three, Desert's Wrath on four, honestly. But maybe it's better just to go Azir on three, Desert's Wrath on four. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Alright, so we'll make all of our sand soldiers two ones. Good, healthy attack. Now, we know they have a pretty awesome champion with plus two, plus two. They did hit their allegiance. They were pretty lucky getting that allegiance. So, one of these awesome champions coming down next round. Hopefully not Renekton. Alright, good, healthy attack. Here's at seven. The boy who plays at being emperor. And the once beloved soldier no longer fit to serve. Do I try to troll Chan and save Azir? Yeah. It's either 
you know, Troll Chant, Save Azir, or go Inspiring Marshall, but... So if we Troll Chant, Save Azir, then next round I can go Marshall plus Desert's Wrath. So I'm basically saying no Sejuani. I'm not expecting a pass. Please don't kill my Azir. Good. You can play predict cards all you want. That's fine with me. Little vanilla two threes and two twos and landmarks and stuff. Yeah, they have the the, the five mana fight spell. Was one that I was I was definitely worried about. I'm having just a little bit ago. No, right negation. I was about to say that. Oh no, right negation. Well, now I can't really attack. I attack. They get to block with Renekton and level up Renekton. And I don't even level up Azir. It would be a five power. Come, we have an empire to build. Four power would be a four power. Four, four, one. Sand soldier. Yeah, I can't because it it just levels up their Renekton. I can't I can't let that happen for free. All of this is ours. Carved from the savage cold. If they do have a vulnerable card and they, they can still kill my Azir. Um, but at least their Renekton won't level up. We'll find our prey. No retreat. Well, how about that? There is no place for savagery in the I have always and with you, Sharima. I think that's better than a I don't know. I guess they who endure would be seven, but then nine would be a nine power overwhelm. Maybe maybe they who endure is actually better. Sharima, you see what I see, carry it with you. Emperor. I am honored. Greater things await! I'm pretty dead. I should I guess I should have played they who endure. Bring me chaos! Looks like I'm pretty dead. This is going to let Renekton level up. And then if they have... Listen to me. Yeah, this is bad. Our cheers. Two away from Azir leveling up also. Because this Renekton is just going to be too big for me to deal with now. We don't have any like frostbite for this thing. It attacks for minimum twelve if they have any kind of challenge. Or no no. Yeah, I guess just ten. Never mind, it just attacks for ten. Never mind. Give them something to remember. These old eyes still see far clear. 
All right, please don't kill me. No. So the day who endured wouldn't have worked anyway because they had the quicksand. You think we can win? How? I don't know how we beat this thing. When I block or attack, deal two to the enemies and the enemy nexus, and it's also 12 power overwhelm. I don't really know how we're supposed to defeat that thing. Yeah, so I let them attack, then endure, but... I mean, that it kills me. And then if I try to attack again, they block it, I'm dead. I have to block with, what, Inspiring Marshal, I guess? Yeah, because they, they get this two damage on both attacking and blocking. Proud warriors, bear my name into battle. That is true, we want the sentries to die, but we also need our sentry- like, we need our opponent to attack with things to allow our sentries to die. So if they do it correctly, that's game over. But you never know, they may- they may mess up. Oh, I forgot about that thing coming in. Ready the torches. Faithless creature. Okay. Well, they didn't do it correctly. They they dealt the least amount of damage they could to me, but that was still 15 damage. They should have had anything else challenge the 4-6, so I had to block Renekton with something smaller. The signal fire. But still good. Fun game. GG's. Lucian Azir. Alright, been a little bit since we've seen the Lucian version. Yeah, they're probably afraid of like a flash freeze. Probably. I'm just playing the Dune Keepers and not waiting. No. Push back the darkness. Because while I could do eight damage. I would have played those in attacks, not as much as we can do. Bring in the heat. I can't I can't pass Avalanche. I can't I can't pass first. I definitely thought about playing Doomkeeper first. I can't pass, because if they're any good, like, they just take the pass. Like, they're so far ahead on board, there's no reason. Alright, well, unfortunately they got their champions. I don't have champions. Sedition! Ugh. Destiny calls. Right after you use my Dune Keepers, then we draw this thing. Glorious sacrifice. We're gonna need more 
of coffins. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Azir is too tanky and too easy to level up, I completely agree. Together, you are children of Shurima. Obviously, that's two rallies. Our deck's a meme tier deck for a reason, right? <laughs> we're not... Uh, we're, we're trying to go Iceborne Legacy on Sand Soldiers. This isn't uh, going to be a deck that I would highly recommend for ranking up. Alright, I'm going to keep Champions. Champions are good. Should Azir be a 1-4? Um... Yeah, I mean, I could see that. Is, there's not any other... I guess there are... Yeah, I guess there's like three mana, two fives. I was seeing is there any other five health These things for three mana. Still see far there's three mana, two fives. Um, I think with Azir... Things that are problematic with Azir... Like, yes, you could reduce the health. It's way too easy to level up Azir. We've seen now with the blade dance or first without the blade dance it was fine but with blade dance this is this is just laughable how easy it is to level up azir and then when you have leveled up azir getting the plus one plus zero bonus is is really too good with these sand soldiers so it's it's that combination this is too easy and then this plus one plus zero is too good and so that's that's where they need to change like this needs to be more difficult or this needs to go away like your level up your level three azir doesn't have the plus one plus zero anymore so like maybe just get rid of that plus one plus zero from level up Azir. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. You can see the Nebastian border. From That's here. they need to make level up Azir not as broken. Because if you if you can make it more difficult, but you can't make it like fifteen or eighteen, because then you can really only play like you know, then you have to play dance to level up Azir. That make it too difficult to level up in any normal circumstance. Which I don't think that's what you want. But I can see like 12. Alright, so I'm going this, this round. Just kills both of those. If it really means you have to attack with 12 units and Azir only needs to see you summon 10 units, like there's there's something wrong with those two numbers. It's easier to summon than attack. There's, there's something wrong there. Look out for In Shurima's name. It could be... They could change it to, like, I've seen... Instead of just you summon 10 units, it's like, I've seen you summon, like, 8 units, right? So, like, Azir has to be in play while you're summoning the units. You know, they could do something like that, right? Like, that's... That could be a good change. I'd raise a thousand soldiers to fight for Sarima. Empires are built on ambition and servitude. So I could I could see doing that of like changing it, change it to something like I've seen you summon whatever amount, you know, like or it's you've summoned X sand soldiers and not just units, but how like X sand soldiers. That could be something also. And then on this side, it could just be like maybe whenever you whenever you summon an attacking, or like whenever you summon an ally, then you buff up Azir's power, but don't give the ally the plus one. Also, you know, like you can do something with that also. So like there's there's some things you can do with Azir. This makes a bunch of two ones. Come, we have an empire to build. Carved from the savage cold. Um, yeah, maybe it's level up as like you've summoned five sand soldiers or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. There's stuff you can do. Onward. Ready the torches. But as of now, it's probably too easy. Look out for Reavers! It's, it's definitely too easy to level up Azir, and then it's too impactful when you have a level up Azir. Ready the torches! Look out for 
Reavers. Ready the torches. Look out for Reavers. Light the signal fire. Show me a target. Could probably remove the, the plus one plus zero clause altogether. From the card. Shareema's strength is yours. I think it's still be playable. Your Emperor command. Tell the people what you have seen today. I guess we try it. I could pa I could pass priority. All right, it's it's meme tier day. Let's yeah, let's go ahead and try it. But so like the I would I would hope that like I could pass. They drew kindred. They play kindred. Then I you know they tap out. Oh, it worked. Okay, good thing we didn't pass because they would have passed also. Good thing good thing we didn't pass. Ooh, okay. So now. Now, if I play Emperor's Divide, they play. They can play Ruination, or I could just go with a Rise, and we get three Sand Soldiers burst speed with a Rise, and get to attack, and we get a fourth one attacking also. So that'd be four plus a Zier. They block a Zier. They block one. The other three uh, should kill them. Yeah, that would kill them. So let's let's go with the Arise. So these things are six power plus the extra one damage. <laughs> so all we need is two of these to hit. Or they just had three brittle seals in hand. I guess that was an option too. So and they get two ash and they just attack in. Alright, so I, I should have used I should have used Azir's Arise. That's a good lesson right there. I should have used Azir I, I, I like what I think my play was just fine. But I should have used Azir's Arise, so that then I would definitely have the other Arise back on defense for an open attack. That was a good good lesson there. I used the wrong Arise. You know, usually you play the regular one, you save the champion spell, right? Because you want to save your champion. But that time I should have used the champion spell and saved the other one. So I know we lost all three games after we changed some cards up, but I, I do like the changes that we made, and I think, I think that was good. I think getting another Desert's Wrath in here, the, De the Desert's Wraths were pretty good. I liked getting another one of those in there, and, and then Sandcrafter and everything like that, too. Um, I think, yeah, I like the, cha the changes that we made, but we just know, like, this isn't necessarily a real super competitive deck, right? Like, we're trying Iceborne Legacy with, with Sand Soldiers, right? Like, it's meme tier day, right? Like, we can't, we're not expecting to win all of our games. But I, I think that it was, um, you know, it was, it was fun to play, to, to put those together and everything, and uh, try it out. Um, I... Yeah, you know, I made a couple of, of you know, like, it, yeah, I, I, I cast the wrong Arise there. Maybe if I cast the other Arise, maybe we could have won that last game. We would have had those, like, surprise blockers for the Ashes. Like, we honestly maybe could have won that last game if I would just played a different Arise. You know, it's hindsight. But it's it's about learning. And, you know, that's, that's something to learn for next time. If I'm ever in that situation again, you know, just kind of always think about what, what can happen. The what can happen for them to stay alive. The triple brittle steal. And then what can happen... Um, yeah, like that was a that was a great turn for them. Triple brittle steel, double missed call to play two more ash at only three mana each. But this was a pretty sweet deck. It was pretty fun. Good old sand soldier stuff. All right. Anyway, that's gonna be it here for our iceborne at sand soldiers. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. 
Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. This is a pretty fun deck to play. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it, seeing some some different sand soldier stuff, right? Like I've never played Emperor's Divide before. I hardly ever have ever played Desert's Wrath or or Arise by itself. I don't even know if I've ever played Arise. You know, it's so like these are cards that I haven't really put in normal decks before. And we got to play them and they got to kind of look good. We got to show off Emperor's Divide a few times. And uh, even Arise as well. It was very close. All right, so that was it for Iceborne Sand Soldiers. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.